So I don't consider myself to be an audiophile or headphone guru, but I do critically listen to music and movies on headphones and speakers here on YouTube. Now, a few months ago, I had an opportunity to review the Hi-Fi Man Sun Dara, and I really, really enjoyed those headphones. So much so that I was like, man, I've really got to get into critically listening to movies and music on headphones. It was, it was serious, right? So much so that I was like, man, I should even shortlist these for Christmas, you know, that sort of thing. Well, a few weeks ago, Hi-Fi Man reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review another one of their products. And I was instantly like, yes, I will definitely do that because I had such a good time with the Sundera. And they said they would send me these, the Aria with Stealth Magnets. And my instant response was like, yes, I really want to review those, right? So I spent some time with these. I broke them in for the recommended 150 hours. And then I've just spent time critically listening to these and so in this video I want to tell you my experience with these as a non audiophile before I begin this video I want to apologize because it's been a couple of weeks since I put out a video life has been crazy busy and honestly it's not letting up but I've been like I said I've spent some time with these and I really want to talk about these because quite frankly I enjoyed them but I do want to apologize because it's been a couple of weeks since I've done a video uh, if you want to purchase these or anything else please use those links in the description below because it does help support the channel also don't forget to subscribe like the video and comment in the comment section because your support really does mean something it really does matter so let's start off by talking about the design of these headphones they are open back planar magnetic headphones and what that means is the backs of these the sound actually leaks out of the headphones and the sound around you actually does come in and the advantage of that particular design is it typically will give you a wider sound stage things sound a bit more natural with a closed back design things can sound a little bit closed in well with these the sound stage is nice and wide i'll go ahead and tell you that now so the open back definitely works they're also planar magnetic and what that means is they instead of having traditional magnet based drivers they have a thin sheet of film in there that is surrounded by magnets and those magnets push and pull causing the film to move and therefore you get sound now these have the stealth magnet design and basically what that means is um, the magnets are specifically shaped to be acoustically transparent so they don't get in the way of the sound that you're hearing and actually I do think it works so with these headphones you're not going to wear them on a bus or plane or a train or anything like that because not only will you potentially disturb those around you they're going to disturb you with their noise with their talking when you're listening to these so these are really for being at home listening critically enjoying your music and if you're in your movies if you want to watch movies and listen on these they definitely work but they have a nice metal frame up here and a nice uh, I don't know if this is leather but a really nice soft material that touches the top of your head I mean it feels really nice now the headphones themselves um, not only swivel up and down but they also rotate in and out so you get a nice fit but on the inside you've got nice soft material here and the padding is what I would call a medium plushness right there you've got your left side and your right side and also front to back the pads are thinner in the front and thicker in the back and that way it more contours the actual shape of your head so when you put these on just put them on like that and they feel nice and comfortable now as you notice these are actually a little bit longer than they are wider so they actually fit your ears very well and the cups are very very large so i don't have my ears touching on the inside or anything like that now as far as clamping force is concerned i didn't have any issues whatsoever wearing these for hours i didn't have any issues with headaches or anything like that i do notice them on the side of my ears or excuse me on the side of my head but they don't cause any headaches so i think the clamping force is reasonable i wish it was just a little bit smaller so i wouldn't notice it as much on the sides of my head but again it doesn't give me any headaches even after hours of listening so the Aria does come with this nice black woven detachable cable. It's got left and right on this side so you can attach them correctly 
on the headphones and on this end it has a 6.35 millimeter jack so you will need a headphone amplifier that does accommodate that particular connection now as far as amplification is concerned these are 32 ohm and have a sensitivity of 94 db so they're relatively easy to drive so you can drive these with let's say a portable dac and amp combo or you can use a traditional desktop amplifier with these headphones now i tried a couple of different desktop amplifiers and honestly you want one that is higher quality i have a under hundred dollar DAC app combo that i bought on amazon and these did expose the flaws in that amplification but i moved up to like the topping a 90 and everything was much smoother especially at the high end um so you do want something that's reasonably high quality because these do expose low quality uh components but again they are easy to drive since they are they have an impedance of 32 ohms and a sensitivity of 94 db Moving on to features, the main feature of these is going to be the planar magnetics with the stealth magnet technology built in. And what that really means is the magnets are acoustically transparent, meaning they don't get in the way of the sound waves hitting your eardrums, right? That's a good thing. Now, they don't have Bluetooth built in, so there's no EQ for these. Again, these are wired. Um, the cups themselves do rotate up and down and in and out, so you can collapse them down a little bit, but they don't come with a carrying case. So these are meant for being at home on your desk so you can sit down with a desktop amplifier or you know in your easy chair and critically listen to music or movies. So that's just kind of what they're made for. Those are the features. So now let's talk sound quality because quite frankly, that's why you buy a pair of headphones like this. And the good news is these do not disappoint. I really, really enjoyed my listening time with these headphones. I found myself looking forward to listening time with these headphones, whether I was listening to music, watching movies, or just editing a video. These sound fantastic. Uh, these have the hi-fi man sound, I would say, but uh, compared to the Sunderas, these do basically most things better. Better soundstage, better detail, better bass performance, right? The Sunderas aren't bad, but these are better. So these have basically become my, I would say, favorite pair of listening headphones. And I'm not just saying that because they're expensive, because it's easy to say, oh, well, something's expensive. Of course, you know, you're gonna like them better. That's not true. Have you ever been to an expensive restaurant and the food was mediocre at best? That's not these. This food is not mediocre. These are really, really good. And the first thing I'll say is, again, these have detail in all of the frequency ranges, high end, mid-range bass it's got detail right which is good very low distortion very clear concise sound because of the planar magnetics and again the open back design the sound stage is there left right is there up and down is there they image very very well very very accurately and speaking of accuracy i i think these have an almost analytical sound and what i mean by that is they're playing exactly what recordings you give them so if you give them a bad recording it's it's going to sound like a bad recording but if you give them a good recording you know a cobus high quality a title mqa something that's just you know cd quality or better um you're going to hear it but if it's a very low bit rate mp3 you're also going to hear it but like i said they're almost analytical they have just a little bit, and I mean the touchiest bit of a smoothness to the sound overall. So it's not completely analytical to the point that they're not enjoyable to listen to. Music is enjoyable to listen to in these headphones. Uh, in the high end, you've got nice clarity, it's robust, you can hear everything, you got the detail there, and honestly, it rolls off just a touch at the end so that it doesn't sound harsh. You can listen to Trouble for these Trouble Heavy Music with these for hours and not be fatigued which is a plus because sometimes you can listen to trouble heavy stuff and it sounds good but after a long listening session it's not as good that's not the case with these you can listen for long hours or i was able to listen for long hours rather and not feel fatigued in the mid-range these reproduce the sounds nice and natural with a touch of smoothness. I've edited with these headphones on and my voice sounds like I expected to sound. When listening to live concerts, if your favorite musician or artist has a little bit of rasp in their voice, you can hear it because these 
pull out that detail and they do that without having to turn the volume up to hear it they just do it it's the same way in the bass regime it pulls out detail for days they play easily down to 20 hertz no problems there whatsoever um, so they play nice and deep and they have more i would say bass impact than the sun daras do they have the most bass impact no, I wish they had just a touch more, but I'd say they're easily 95, maybe 98% of the way there when you're listening to bass heavy music. So these can reproduce music, all types of music, gospel, jazz, classical, EDM, folk music, funk music, you know, the different types of music that you're going to listen to, these can easily reproduce them and it's going to do it with detail. So let me warn you, if you have a low quality uh, recording, low quality MP, MP3, you're going to hear it. But if you have nice high quality recordings, you're also going to hear it. You're going to hear the difference, even in, you know, maybe even differences in recording engineers as you sit down and listen. But again, you definitely want to have good quality tracks and decent quality hardware to do it. So from a sound quality standpoint, again, these don't disappoint. Now moving on to value, I'm just going to say it up front. These are not inexpensive. They're $1,599. So yeah, you definitely need to be in the market for these headphones. But like I said, in the sound quality section, they do not disappoint. They play what's there. And the good news is you don't need super high-end gear to use these. I mean, with the impedance that they have, you can use a headphone amplifier. You do want a decent quality amplifier and DAC, but they don't have to be, you know, made out of 24 karat gold and diamond studded, right? You can use, you know, sub $500 gear and it does sound fantastic with these headphones. So from an overall value standpoint, yes, there are less expensive headphones out there, obviously, but for what they are, they do a great job. So as you can tell, I highly recommend the Aria with Stealth Magnets from Hi-Fi Man. These sound fantastic. They have excellent detail. They reproduce the frequency range very, very well. And you can listen to them for many, many hours without feeling discomfort or being fatigued from the high end. So if you're looking to upgrade your headphones, you you know, from whatever you have to something that's got nice detail and definitely plays the mid-range, the treble, the bass, easily without being fatiguing definitely check out the arias hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave us a comment if you want to purchase these or anything else from hi-fi man use those links in the description below thank you for watching have a happy holidays we'll talk to you next time